Let's say that you have an array in JavaScript and you want to go and remove all the undefined values from that array. Now this is quite easy to do using the built-in array.filter method, but if you go and search for how to do this, you might also come across a lot of incorrect approaches. I'm going to show you the correct approach, along with explaining how some of these other approaches are actually incorrect, and why you still might want to use some of the incorrect approaches in the end. So to demonstrate all this, first we need an array to actually work on. So here I've defined an array. This array has nine elements. Notice how it has a mix of all different types. So we have numbers, strings, and then two undefined values here. So the nine elements, two of them are undefined. These are the ones that we want to go and remove from our resulting array. Again, to go and remove these elements, all we have to do is use the built-in array.filter method. So we'll say array, which is the array that we want to operate on, and then call .filter, which is a built-in method directly on this. Now, the filter method will return a new array that is created by filtering out elements of the array that it is called on. In this case, we are calling filter on the array that we've defined up here, so we're going to be filtering out specific elements, in this case, the ones that are undefined. Filter does this by taking a predicate function. So that function is going to be called on every single element of the array, and it will determine whether or not that element is going to be kept in the result. If the predicate function returns true, that element will be kept. If that function returns false, that element will be discarded from the result. So for our example here, as the first argument to filter, we need to pass in that predicate function. I'll define it using x and then arrow. And here we need to think about whether or not the value, in this case x, should be kept. So we want to keep the value if it is not equal to undefined. So we'll say x does not equal. Make sure you use the two equal signs here to make sure that we're doing a strict comparison. And then we'll say not equal to undefined. When I go and run this, you can see that the resulting array has seven elements. And if we actually go and expand this, we can confirm that we have the correct results. The important thing to remember with filter is that it has not modified the original array. It is actually creating a copy of the original array with certain elements filtered out. We can confirm this by just checking the value of our original array. So if I go and type array here, that original array that we passed in still has nine elements. Array.filter is actually creating a copy of the original array with those undefined values filtered out. So this is the correct way to go and remove undefined values from an array, and it will make sure that only the undefined values are being removed. If you're looking for how to go and remove undefined values from an array, though, you might find other answers online that look more like this, where you're actually going to call array.filter, and instead of comparing the value to undefined, you are just going to say, um, return the value directly. So here we've created a predicate function that will always just return the value that is passed to it. When I run this, notice how our resulting array only has five elements, which looks a little suspicious. And if we actually expand out this array, we can see that what has happened here is that by calling filter with this predicate function, we've actually removed every single falsy value from the array. This includes the Boolean literal false here, along with the value zero that we were passing in as well. So the number zero has also been removed because it is considered a falsy value by JavaScript. Other falsy values would be empty strings, for example. Um, so those are also going to be removed from the resulting array using this approach. Now, there are cases where you actually do want to remove the falsy values from an array, but it can be dangerous to do this if that is not what you intended to do. So if you're operating on an array of numbers that might have some undefined values scattered in there, if you run this version of filter, you might accidentally remove all the zeros from the array, which could really skew your data if you're doing some sort of computation. So that's how you can use the built-in array filter method to remove undefineds from an array in JavaScript.